Is there a rigid transformation taking rhombus P to rhombus Q? Explain how you know. Well, let's check the angles. These angles don't match up. This is not a rigid transformation. No, a rigid transformation preserves all angle measurements. Number two, describe a rigid transformation that takes triangle A to triangle B. Here we have triangle A, and you want to get it over to triangle B. You want to take a point on that and translate it up to and over to the right three. So let's translate up to and to the right three units. Number three, is there a rigid transformation taking rectangle A to rectangle B? Explain how you know. Well, let's just check the corresponding sides. That does not work. And these are all different measures and different lengths, so I'm going to have to say no. Segment lengths are preserved under a rigid transformation. All right, on to number four. For each shape, draw its image after performing the transformation. If you get stuck, consider using tracing paper. Translate the shape A so that A goes to A prime. Well, I'm just gonna trace this out here and we can obviously just move it. Um, if you have tracing paper, you can just move it to A prime as long as that corresponding point goes to the same spot. What I'm gonna do is just take every vertices on that figure and I'm gonna move it that same amount so that's what I've done here I'm just gonna retrace it and we are golden let's just check to just to make sure check all right now rotate the shape 180 degrees counterclockwise around B and there's a B and here is a distance to one of the points and 180 degrees it's just gonna create uh, a line that's collinear to the original and the distance is gonna be that same exact distance from that original point all right let's do this one 180 degrees of course is gonna create a straight line it's gonna be collinear but where does it appear well we need to Make sure it's the same distance away from the center of rotation. And we'll put our new point there. And now this one is a little tricky because it's not one of the sides of the shape. So I'm just gonna extend the line just a little bit more so you get the idea. Now this distance here to this point, even though it's not on one of the sides of the quadrilateral, we still want that exact distance when we uh, find the new location of the new point let me connect the dots and we should have a rotation nice all right and C reflect the shape over the line shown so remember each point is gonna be 90 degrees or perpendicular from the reflection line just like looking into a mirror so I'm gonna take the distance that point is to the reflection line and I am going to go ahead and bring that up same with this one and if you notice I'm gonna use a note card here to get my 90 degree angles in and I'm gonna take a look at that same distance away well first I'm gonna draw the line to extend the line and then I'm gonna look at that distance right there now watch what I do with the note card I'm gonna mark it off on the note card right there I'm gonna flip it around and put it on the other side of the reflection line along that line that I just drew that was perpendicular to make my last mark and, and this one here same deal perpendicular same distance away then connect the dots and you are all set all right thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe